Hi everyone, it's TechDan. Today I have a cool little toy to review. It's the Samsung Odyssey Plus. It's a VR, PC VR headset. We call it a Windows Mixed Reality. It is in direct competition with the Oculus Rift S. This is the best Windows Mixed Reality headset on the market, which is often on sale for about $299 US. So a lot of people are interested about this product because of the very good sales price. So first of all, I will not go through the whole unboxing process. There is nothing spectacular about it. Uh, it's not a high end box. It's not like the experience when uh, I first uh, unboxed my uh, Rift uh, CV1. Here is just a typical Samsung box for any of their products. So it's nothing spectacular. In the box, you get the headset you also get two of these and that's that's it that's that's the great thing about uh, the the samsung headset you don't need any sensor you just need to plug the headset into a computer and you're good to go so the setup is very easy the installation process on the computer was also a, a breeze i just had to install the windows mixed reality software after that, you need to install the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam. If we do a quick tour of the headset, so here we have uh, a Hello Style band to put on your head. So when you want to install it, you, you just need to put it on your forehead and then you need to squeeze the back of the headset. A lot of person are complaining about the comfort of this headset. Personally, I didn't have any big problem with it. If you have any problem with the comfort of this headset, there is two solutions that exist. The first one is uh, some strap you can make yourself or that you can buy uh, on, uh, on the web that will go over your head to relieve a bit of pressure from your forehead. Another one is uh, a cover from VR cover that you can install here instead of this foam. Personally, I don't have any problem with light bleed. Uh, I saw a lot of review where people put the headset and they, they see a, a bit of light coming in. That I don't have any problem and for me it's even better than the riff, the original riff because there is some uh, flipper here for, for the nose. So, so when I'm personally when I'm in this headset it's pitch black. Another interesting feature about the Samsung Odyssey Plus for the price is the inclusion of these great quality headphones. Uh, they are made by AKG. They sound really great. They are comfortable. For me, they fit perfectly into my ears. I have no problem with them. The bass is quite good. I think they are quite comparable with, uh, with original Riff headphones. Maybe a, the, the Riff were just a little bit better, but really there, there's no complaint about them. And if you compare with the new Refess, you won't have these. You will only have like small little speaker in the headband. You also have here at the bottom uh, an IPD adjustment wheel. This is to take into account the distance between your eyes. But I have a low IPD of 59 millimeter. It works perfectly well. The headset is made of some plastic, nothing spectacular. One thing which uh, is an inconvenient of the asset is quite heavy and uh, you will feel it on your head after a, a long period of gaming. One thing I don't really like about this headset, about the comfort, is the wobble. The weight is fixed to your head, which only apply pressure on your forehead and on your back of your head. It means that the actual uh, screen here are, are loose. So when you move, it moves and then it hits your nose. It, it's not very fun. And personally, it depends on the type of game you play. But I like some gold hockey goaltender game where I, <laughs> I'm just uh, on the ground and try to, to save pucks and things like that. And it was way, 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 way better with the original Riff, which was like glued to your face. Now let's talk about the screen, which is the main reason to buy the ODC Plus. The screen is a OLED screen, a great quality OLED screen. We all know that Samsung makes the best OLED screen on the market. The colors are insanely vivid. 
they are better than on the original Rift. The blacks are deep blacks. The image is very clear. Really, the screen are a great quality. But the big difference that Samsung did on the Odyssey Plus compared to the original Odyssey is to add a technology to eliminate screen door effect. Now, most people know what is a screen door effect, so I won't go into details. It was a problem for me for the original riff. In most games, you, you, are, you are in the game, you don't really think about it, but it's still there, it's still disturbing. And for some games, like racing games, Sims games, it was very bad. Uh, you had low resolution and screen door effects, so everything looked like a game from 1995. In some type of game, you were unable to, to see the, the dashboard, the number of the dashboard. Let me tell you, the screen is, on this are incredible. It's not all perfect, however, with the screen. Uh, let's talk about the lenses. The lenses are quite good in general. There is almost no god rays. One thing I don't like about the lenses, uh, I don't have any problem finding the sweet spot on my head. So when I put it, typically it's very easy to, to have a clear image. But the problem is that the image is only clear in the middle. Uh, on the other surfaces of the lens, it's, it gets blurry. So when you are looking in front of you, there's no problem. Everything is very clear. But when you want to read something in the screen at the bottom of the screen, for example, and then you, you lower your eyes, it's, it's blurry. You, you can't really read it. You need to move your head. And you, you, you need to get accustomed to that because since the, the screen and the text is very clear with this headset, you are able to read, you are able to, to, to try to, to look for details, but then it gets blurry. And then you move your head and then it becomes clear. But I think the more I play with it, the more I get accustomed to it. And really, if I compare with my experience with the original Rift, I mean, everything is clearer. So uh, on the original Rift, I wasn't even able to read most of the text. So, so I can't really complain that much about this, but it still need improvement and uh, the headset is not perfect on that topic. Before talking about the tracking, I will, I will talk a bit about the controller themselves. First of all, I'm used to the Oculus Touch controller, which are the best in the market right now. And these are really a downgrade from the Oculus Touch controller. First of all, they are very big. You tend to, to, to hit the ring here if you are playing some boxing game or things like that, or even playing other game, you, you want to take something with two hands and then you, you hit the rings. Maybe that's a problem only for me because I'm used to the smaller Oculus Touch and I will get used to that. The quality of construction of these is quite ordinary, it's some cheap plastic. The button, for example, for the grip is very small. You, you don't, when, when you are playing with these, you, you feel like you are playing it with controller. And I think it's the same thing with the Vive controller. It's just that the Oculus Touch controller are so light, so they fit naturally in the end. You, you really feel like you, you're not really holding something. Here, I feel like I'm playing with, with some big controller. Again, if these were my first controller, I won't have that much complaint about them but I need to, to learn to live with them. Here I have, uh, you, you also have some joystick, which is a big plus compared to the Vive controller. You also have the touchpad from the Vive controller. So this is a, a great option, but the, the problem is that sometimes you need to rebind in some games according to your taste, because some game will use the, the joystick, some game will use the touchpad. Personally, I don't know why, but in a game like Onward, I'm unable to, to really enjoy the game with the touchpad, but I'm able to bind it to the joystick, but then my player drifts, always. It always moves to the right. Uh, I check on the web and it's a problem with the game. I don't know if they will fix it. So when you buy a Windows Mixed Reality headset, you have to understand 
that you have to be a little bit of a techie. <laughs> you, 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 you need to, to apply, you, you, you need to rebind some controller. If you play on the, if some game on the Oculus Store using Revive, you need some time to, to make these headset works. In the games, you, sometimes you don't see the Windows Mixed Reality headset, you will see the Vive instead. So, so it's not perfect. I don't love them, but did work. Now let's talk about the tracking. A lot have been said about the tracking of uh, Windows Mixed Reality because it's inside out tracking. As I said earlier, you don't need any uh, sensor in your room. You just have two cameras in the headset. Uh, the new uh, Rift S will have five cameras, four in the front, one on the top. The truth is that for most games, it's not a problem. You can play Beat Saber pretty good. You can play, uh, I don't know, Job Simulator pretty good. For most games, it's not a problem. I, I don't have like tracking problem. And yes, if you go outside of the peripheral vision of the camera, it will lose the controller. But 99% of the time, it will be, it will come back in your field of view at the right place and it will work pretty well. But what I said, it, it works for most of the game. What about the game that it doesn't work very well? And what if you are playing mostly those games? And that's the problem with, <laughs> with this controller. And from a video I saw from Virtual Oasis uh, channel, it seems to have the same problem with the inside out tracking of the Rift Is in games like, for example, Onward, or Pavlov, you have two problems. First of all, is the occlusion of the far end. I will move a little bit. So, since the camera are in, on your head, if the two controllers are perfectly aligned, the second controller, which is far away from the headset, sometimes can be occluded. The, the headset doesn't know where it is, then you get a bit of uh, a fracking problem in game. But the major problem I've got with these is more about the controller near my head. Since sometimes you need to scope or you need to, to at least align your shot, the controller will be very near your the controller will be very near your, your headset. And for example, here if I'm shooting, the ring is above the camera. <coughs> and the headset doesn't know where the controller are and it just doesn't work. And that is pretty bad. I must admit, you have to play like, like this, but if you need to do this, it doesn't work. That can be a deal breaker really for many people. It depends on how you play, which gun you use, but think about it when you will be buying this or the Rift S, check the reviews, check the experience from other. Uh, for me, that might be a reason to return this headset. So I will see, I will see if I get uh, used to it or I saw in a Reddit uh, that uh, the Onward developers uh, answer me that they are working on a fix. We see, but there's some limitation to the inside out tracking. And now let's talk about the experience, the general experience. I was used to an Oculus headset. This is the best experience. Why? Because it works on the Oculus Store. You have to understand that the Oculus Store, which have many uh, flagship games, uh, only work on the Oculus Store. So if you want to play them, you need an Oculus device or you need to install a software called Revive, which le lets you play with your Vive or Windows Mixed Reality headset. Uh, you will have access to those games. But sometimes it needs to be patched and we, we don't know if one day Oculus will just be able to block every other kind of headset from their market store. We'll see, but for, for now it, it does work. You need to install the software, you need some time to patch them. So from an experience standpoint, it's not the same. Like I said earlier, you need to learn to bind these things up to some game. You, Like I said earlier, you need to be a little bit of a techie to install some patch, to install some controller binding, to, 
to make them work. If you are not a techie, you just want to plug them and play with them, just buy the, the Rifts that will be out uh, soon. It will work on Steam, it will work on, on Oculus Store, it will work with every game. You will always almost have your, your Oculus Touch on the screen. Everything will work easily. With Windows Mixed Reality, you have to fiddle around a bit, but they do work, but you have to work for it. And that in the end is your choice. Do you want to do that? Please subscribe to the channel, check my other video. I will do other video on uh, the other VR headset and certainly on the Odyssey Plus. So please subscribe. See you next time. It's Tech Dad. Ciao!